I'm in his safety, his holy safety, God's safety. I think I was six years old. I'm my mom's only child. We were riding in front of a mall and something on the radio had spoke about HIV. And it was very, very new. And she says, that is God's punishment for gay people. And so when I was diagnosed at 315, the very first person I thought about was my mom. That was heavy for me. Being black in the South is a lot. Being a black male in the South means even more. You can be gay, but you can't be gay. <laughs> and so when I mean gay, that means you don't live out loud. I had to keep this into myself. I wasn't going to tell my mom I was positive, but I did not want a white man telling a black woman that her black son had HIV. HIV thrives in silence. The less silent I am, the more somebody else will be strengthened. I remember being in the hospital the first time when I was diagnosed and I wanted to go to church. I got a chance to talk to God, be mad at God, question God, ask God. Healing came from all of that for me. I always say that Jesus belongs to everybody, but God became mine while I had HIV. Knowing that HIV is not just a black gay man's disease. We have heterosexual men, we have Asians, we have our wonderful, strong, powerful transgender community. The Compass Initiative has made it so that we all can be together in the fight to end the epidemic. I don't know if the church realizes how much they can help in diminishing HIV. If the black church would do something as simple as hug a person with HIV, that would make a difference. The pills work, yes, that's science, but the hugs are healing. We couldn't talk about all of this journey without talking about my mama. My heart is beating really fast right now. We've grown, my mom and I have grown. And she loves me in a way that I didn't know that she would or could. Any friendship, any relationship you have has gotta be worth fighting, worth fighting for. for. Any kind of ship you're in. That's never gonna change. His holy say. God's safety is where I am. Again, what would I tell my younger self? Everything will be okay. Everything will be okay. <laughs>